tour takes an unexpected turn for a local band. The ska punk band called The Last Slice returned home this week after an unfortunate bump on the road. Two News reporter Will Dupree tells us why they need their fan support now more than ever. The Last Slice left here from Claremore two weeks ago for a national tour, but a massive theft forced them to return home much sooner than expected. Six years ago, The Last Slice started playing ska music, a mix of reggae and rock and roll in Claremore. Now, the band's music can be heard all across the country. We have people that come back that know the words to our songs, that come out and they have a great time, and that kind of gives you the drive to keep going. Last weekend, Ethan Nichols says he and his band members played in South Florida and then stayed with friends in Miami. Ethan says they woke up Sunday to find the van and trailer carrying all their equipment missing. It was a bummer. Someone apparently broke into the van overnight and drove off, leaving the band with nothing. Everything is gone. Even our acoustic guitars, our clothes, we lost all of our amps, our guitars, our horns. Altogether, he says the band lost about $30,000 worth of equipment. He expects it to take about seven months to replace. We had a lot of great stuff and uh, it's gone. The band asked for people's help on Facebook. The post got shared dozens of times. Ethan says he's collected about $4,000 through a PayPal account less than a week after losing everything. There's one bad person out there that ripped us off, but it made us see the good people out there by tenfold. Well, the band hopes to collect even more donations as well as any used equipment that people might have. If you'd like to help them out, we've posted some contact information on our website, kjrh.com. Reporting from Claremore, Will Dupree, 2 News Works for you.